We are talking about MAPPA again because of course we are. The studio is now known to consistently produce above average looking anime and a lot of them. Back in the day they were known as that passion project studio, not very different from early Madhouse. Rightfully so, the two studios had a lot of common names. I'll be ranking every MAPPA anime that I have seen, which is 12, based on their all around visual quality. Like and subscribe if you rank high on the good person, if you are highly ranked on the good person I give up, just like and subscribe. Number 12, the weakest looking MAPPA anime that I have seen, Ida 10 deities. Remember this one? It got a fair bit of controversy due to the quite questionable stuff it showed. Despite all that, it did manage to pull a decent rating for what it was, so good for it. It was not badly animated, but then again, I doubt any show in MAPPA's decently long catalogue is badly animated. This just does not hold a candle to the rest of the entries here. But don't get it twisted, this show featured a bright colour palette, contrasting the dark content fairly well. The art style was very unique, yet oddly similar to the original Garo anime, but more extravagant. It featured a well animated cutter too here and there, but it definitely had a lack of all around Sakuga Work, which is the reason why it's ranked this far down. Number 11, Yasuke. Remember when this was a thing? A Netflix anime. Yeah, well it didn't look as good as you'd expect. Apparently the payouts from Netflix to the staff was ridiculously low, which is odd because Netflix doesn't understand anime or the appeal behind it. Their only strength is to blindly pour money into it. You had one job, Netflix. Despite taking place in a setting not very different from some other MAPA shows we'll get to shortly, this looked, I don't want to say average or normal, but rather not nearly as good as it could have. Nothing here is stuff that is outright poor looking, not that I can remember at least, but yeah, Netflix bad. Number 10, Dance Dance Danceur, which is a real word apparently. A very recent show, this one looked great. Some of the performances and the art styles during the same looked phenomenal. Unfortunately, those are the only instances where they did anything with the visuals. The non-performing parts, aka the majority of the show, didn't necessarily look out of this world or anything like that. Normally, I'd place it below Yasuke. But most of the performances looked so good. Most of them. Sometimes they were a little choppy, but that's few and far in between. Look at this. Look. Look. Number 9, Garo the Animation. Not any other Garo work by MAPPA such as Vanishing Line, just the main Garo series. Directed by Yuichiro Hayashi, the now director of Attack on Titan Season 4 which we'll get to soon, Garo the Animation is definitely more of a directorial spectacle instead of a visual one. Still, the show looks damn good. Featuring one of the earliest intentional use of CGI models that I can remember, that iconic sword fight you may have seen all over the internet, and just a very well put together atmosphere and visual identity, with plenty of character acting present. Really solid use of CGI and other good looking scenes throughout. Although the colour palette in the early going of the series does leave a bit to be desired. Number 8, Kakegurui. Only the first season as I have not seen the second, this is another Yuichiro Hayashi work. The main strength in terms of visuals here lies in the brilliant character acting, facial expressions and body language. This is one of those shows that points a finger to the fact that good animation is so much more than good action animation, the latter only being a very small part of the former. Having amazing use of flares, visual exaggerations, brilliant camera movement and extremely detailed close Ups, this show always manages to carve out a larger than life feel with every scene and episode, brilliantly crafted from a visual point of view. Number 7, Doro He Doro. Yes, this is another Yuichiro Hayashi directed entry and no, this is not the last one, we still have Attack on Titan to go. He has done a lot of stuff for MAPPA. To address the elephant in the room, yes, this is a fully CGI anime, adapting a source material that definitely looks like it would be at its best when accompanied by a lot of 2D line work. Does it look bad? Absolutely no. The series is so ridiculously over the top, both in terms of violence and just what is happening on screen. The synthetic feel that the CGI gives it ends up working in its benefit, adding to the fever dream like aesthetic. Also, CGI allows for more camera dynamics, which can then be used to better showcase this acid trip of a world the show takes place in. The models look good and manage to capture a lot of detail without looking clustered. I could not spot any case of compression on the models, which occasionally happens when detail heavy 3D models are shown from a distance. Some really creative shots, it just works well and looks great. Number 6, Stacked OP Destiny. Is this cheating? Technically, Madhouse did most of the heavy lifting for this series. MAPPA was not that involved with the production process, and as per my knowledge, it was not a different studio every alternating episode arrangement, it was mostly Madhouse. But at the same time, the two studios are so similar. Masao Maruyama, the co-founder of Madhouse, went on to create MAPPA. I'll include this. Featuring a stellar first and third episode with a phenomenal quantity of Sakuga, which did slightly go downhill from that point on, featuring cuts from a who's who of top tier animators, Kazuhiro Miwa of Fire Force fame, Tatsuya Yoshihara, director and main animation force 
बिहाइंड ब्लैक क्लोवर तो सातो ऑफ मॉप साइको एंड वन पंच मैन फेम हिरो नोरी तानका हुज बेस्ट नोन फॉर हैविंग वर्क ऑन एवरी एनिमे इन एक्सिस्टेंस इवन नोजोमो गॉड डैम आबे द अफोर्डेबल इफेक्ट्स मैन व्हाइल यस देयर वाज सम आउटसोर्सिंग डन इट स्टिल लुक्ड फिनोमेनल नंबर 5 अटैक ऑन टाइटन सीजन 4 द लास्ट टू वीचिरो हायाशी एंट्री हेड जीसस मापा लेट द मैन रेस्ट आई एम कंसीडरिंग बोथ पार्ट्स इन दिस एंट्री द सेकंड पार्ट ऑब्वियसली लुक्ड सिग्निफिकेंटली सुपीरियर टू द फर्स्ट द प्रोडक्शन इश्यूज एंड लैक ऑफ टाइम मापा हेड फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज वेल नोन इवन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस इन मोर डिटेल इन माय रैंकिंग अटैक ऑन टाइटन सीजंस बेस्ड ऑन एनिमेशन वीडियो बट टू सेव टाइम मापा went with a cinematic look over fluid animation especially for part 1 the cgi mostly looked great be it overused the backgrounds and atmosphere was extremely well crafted and character designs were detailed and this season did have some great cuts of animation just not many of them our lord and savior satoshi sakai sort of carried the animation team with his brilliant fx animation which even the subpar compositing could not suppress and trust me it tried i won't go too much into detail as i have already done that on the very first video on this channel go watch it if you want to hear me sound even more awkward than I do now but at the end of the day despite the time restrictions mapa produced a very good looking output overall number 4 jujutsu kaisen one word bad compositing that's two words also you can check out my video where i discuss this in detail that's 12 more words but basically bad compositing bad cgi backgrounds with bad textures on them bringing down the quality of visuals in this show but over on the positives this show had a ton of sakuga work stunning keichiro watanabe cuts amazing scenes and fights all over the place making good use of modern animation styles and techniques to produce a really good looking final product number 3 the god of high school imagine jujutsu kaisen but without most of the visual shortcomings that's god of high school a similar style of action and animation same director as well but minus most of the bad composite significantly better choreography and most importantly even more consistently better looking than jujutsu kaisen every single fight whether important or not was an absolute spectacle to look at the art style changes the motion capture techniques used in the latter half of the series were all incredibly well done none of those cgi backgrounds with bad text as the fights mostly happen in one place the ring just pretty much perfect all around number 2 terror in resonance another one of those shows that's more of a directorial spectacle as opposed to a visual one but the visuals still are damn good consistent character designs accompanied by a sleek modern style of storyboards this show is another testament that you don't need to be an action anime to be well animated character acting for days brilliant explosion and effects animations amazing integration of cgi in the early going to make it feel more photorealistic and cinematic great compositing for one It is all just absolutely amazing. Just a tad bit of CGI overuse near the end with the vehicles and stuff, but who cares? And number one, the best looking mappa anime that I have seen, The Rage of Bahamut. Yeah, this show, don't be surprised, looks very good, like unreal good. Every scene, every moment looks out of this world. This show handles the large scale that it has to work with incredibly well. Great compositing, surprisingly enough. Top tier cuts of animation, pretty good CGI actually. All around just perfect, both the seasons. I really can't do it justice with my words. Just go and watch it. It's a perfect example of a large scale production. So that was it. Where would you place some of these shows in your list? And what other mappa anime that I haven't seen would you say deserves to be high up? Comment down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time.